Well, welcome to the first clip of our Deutsche Math September newsletter. In the previous segment, we gave you an overview of uh, K through 12 mathematics and why word problems is such critical component or the core of K through 12 math. So this clip, what we're going to do is talk about the question number one, which is basic operations. This is for the second through fourth grade um, problem set. So let me read the first problem. Molly has saved $27 for her trip to the mall with friends. She wants to buy two hairbands at uh, $4.25 each and two leather bond diary notebook at $7 each. So the question is, does she have enough money? If so, how much will she have left over? So from the word problem, we can see there will be some addition. Uh, there will be some uh, multiplication and possibly some subtraction. So let's see how we put all the operations together. Let's take a look how we solve the problem. All right, so let's uh, let's get started here. Let me get my pen here. All right, let's talk about a solution. So in the problem, let's draw a chart and keep track of what we have and what we need to figure out. I always advise my students to divide the paper to about two-thirds and one-third division. You know, this side is their scratch paper, and this side is uh, their work area. So that this way, you separate the scratch paper from the work area. That's easier for teacher to keep track, and uh, it's easier for the student to, to keep track of what's going on here. So let's take our take our shopping list right over here. Okay. We need to buy two of hairband at uh, $4.25 each. And then we need to buy two notebook at $7 each. And what we saved is we have here is $27. The question is, do I have enough? To see what we needed to uh, have to buy $4.25 hairband, we can either use addition, when it's simple enough, we can use addition, $8.50, or of course we can use multiplication. Now when the problem is so simple, it doesn't really make difference if we add or multiply, but imagine if you have seven hairbands you want to buy, you don't want to do four 0.25 add 2.4, 2.25 all the way to seven times. And that'll take too long. So here's how we do the multiplication. Two times two is four, plus one is five. And here's our decimal. So both of them have the same answer. Okay. So here we need $8.50 to buy the hairbands. For seven dollars each uh, notebook, we do a multiplication. That's fourteen dollars. So that would give us the fourteen dollars over here. Now the sub total added together, we need a twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. Right. So the question is, do we have enough? Let's squeeze this little column right over here. Save enough. Of course, this 2250 is less than 27, so we will have some left over. Now, to estimate roughly how much we would have, well, let's say we have $22, and 27 is what we have in the pocket. We're going to spend $22, so roughly around a $5. Since it's 2250, this is a little more than $22, so we'll have a little less than $5. It's a good idea to estimate roughly how much you have before you do the um, uh, operation. The reason is that you have done two check-ins by the time you arrive the answer. All right. Let's take our math over here. Let's see how much exactly do we have left over. To take the leftover, we'll need subtraction. So here's we need to borrow, right? And this becomes a six. Six minus two is four. As we estimated, we have roughly five dollars, a little less, right? So, our leftover, left over, is four dollars and fifty cents. So um, yes, she will have enough, and she will have four dollars and fifty cents left over. All right, have a confident day.